Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. So this is it, I've landed at the Eldest launch and I'm going to find out exactly what is new for 2022. Now in exciting news, as you can see behind me, there are Buccaneers and those of you that are in the know can see that there is something very different here. So in this vlog, what I'm going to be covering is the new 2022 Buccaneer range. I'm going to show you around all of them. They're not going to be detailed reviews, but we're going to have a look at each model. So if you're interested in Buccaneers, obviously this will be the vlog for you. So I'm going to go around each model. As far as I'm aware, they all still have the EMP hydraulic system. And price-wise, although I haven't got prices today, there may be an increase in price, but we'll have to wait and see. At this moment in time, prices haven't been published. So let's not waste any more time and let's have a look around the new 2022 Buccaneer range the eight foot wide luxury model from Eldis. So we'll start at the end here. Now, first of all, this is the Aruba. So we'll start at the front. Now, all of the Buccaneers are going to have this new front, which as you can see, it's rounded, which is a little bit different to how it was before. It had more of a, 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 a sort of squarer front coming down the sides on here. So we've got a completely new front locker as you can see on this one here. We've got the three big windows still and what I do like is how they've created this rounded shape here. So we'll have a closer look at that on the others. Next to it we've got the Commodore. Um, so I'll just have a look at that there so you can you can see the shape on that one as well just from a different angle. So back to the Aruba. Yes it's still on the Alco chassis and we're going to have ATC. I'm not going to go through all the weights and measures today because I'll be doing that when I review these individually at some point. We can see there we're going to get the whale gas point, we've got the battery locker there and obviously these are twin axle models and we can see the E and P hydraulic system down on the ground there. We've got the Dometic vents. Now I'll just go around the back, the one thing I always like about the Buccaneers are these amazing silver sides. So here's the back, we've got new badging up there and what I really like are the new light clusters. Hopefully I'll be able to see a model further around where we can see these in a little bit more detail. But these I'd say have certainly got a, a German influence there. So let's venture inside the Aruba and see what's going to wait us in here. So it's a one piece door with a window, we do have a bin. I'll step inside. Now this is a family model, as far as I know this is six births, but um, don't quote me, But I, because I haven't, I'm not sure if I've done the Aruba, Aruba before, but this is certainly a nice family layout. We've got that amazing sunroof, letting loads of light in, all these windows and this massive lounge area, these look like really good size um, sofas. The wood is still this really nice dark wood effect. And I do like that, although it makes it darker in here, um, it's very classy. We've then got um, a dining area, and again, look at this, this is absolutely massive. So we've got a really nice dining area with the wrap around there. And then we come to the kitchen. Now, I'm not going to go through all the bits and bobs that are new, it's just really an overview today. But we've got a really good sized kitchen, we've got the gas oven and grill, there's a flap there as well um, for using to eat at and then back here we have the bedroom so this has got a fixed bed as you can see it is a it's a reasonable size double to be fair there is a little bit of a cutaway there so just be mindful if you're a tall person but then we have the Russell Hobbs microwave and the Dometic fridge freezer and then we'll have a quick look in the bathroom oh yeah now this is really nice so we've got a huge shower cubicle there is a shelf for the shower gels. We've got the Thetford toilet, and then there's the wash basin, and obviously we've got Alder wet central heating. So, so that's a qu very quick look at the Aruba, but very, very nice. Right, we're going to power on now, um, and we'll go and have a look next door at that Commodore. So uh, let's go and do that. So this one next to it is the Commodore and obviously again the twin axle. On the off side it looks like we're going to be finding our uh, water uh, points here on this one. It's got that really nice front, I do like that. And then coming down on this side we can see obviously 
couple of differences there to the Aruba. So again, let's venture into the Commodore because this might be one that you're interested in. Now this model is displayed with the leather upholstery. I would envisage that is going to be a slightly more expensive option. Up in the roof, we've got our vent here, a massive long sunroof, which is amazing. Great big um, sunroof at the front and then all these windows. And as I say, this one has got the leather. The leather's really nice. This really lifts it to be fair and lightens this space. So yeah, that's very nice. And we see on this model, we've got the kitchen here on the off side. This here, really good amount of worktop space there and a large storage cupboard underneath. We've then got a huge sink. That's probably one of the biggest sinks I've seen on a caravan. So yeah, and it's the Caraflow tap. We've got the illuminated splash back, the storage above, and then we've got a really nice Thetford gas oven grill and the hob has got gas and electric. Over on the near side of the Commodore, we've got the Dometic fridge freezer. These are probably going to be somewhere around 155 litres, I would imagine. Might even be more, might even be less, I don't know. But yeah, so very good size fridge and freezer. So that's that and the microwave. Now this layout, this is nice. We've got the center washroom. So over on the near side or the left side of the caravan, there is a huge shower and that is absolutely massive. My camera work might not do it justice, but you can see that there. Obviously we've got the screen. And then to separate these areas, there is a door. So that will close your living space to this space. And this is where we're going to find the washroom. So this is all mirrored there. So you can see there. So that's all mirrored. And then we've got a cupboard. And then we've got the Thetford toilet. Some nice little lighting down there. The Alder heated towel rail and the wash basin. I do quite like that style of basin. So that's really nice. And then right at the back, we're going to find an island bed. I don't have any sizes on the beds, but when I do reviews, I will have that. We've got some good storage space. And um, I'll just show you up here. Look at that huge, great big sunroof as well. It could get quite warm in here in summer. Um, so just bear that one in mind. Got a nice cabinet there. The bed does retract. So as you can see, we've got plenty of floor space if I move around. Um, and then here's the bed. We've got a leather headboard. It is, as I say, retracted. If you pull that out, it's obviously going to extend longer. So I'd imagine, obviously, that bed's going to be well over six feet. So that's the Commodore layout, which is a rear island transverse bed, centre washroom, and then this massive lounge, uh, an excellent kitchen space. So, oh yeah, that's a nice one. Right, let's move on. So we'll move on next to the cruiser. Now, I know quite a few people have been interested in the cruiser. This is one I think I reviewed maybe in 2029, something like that. So we'll have a look at the um, Buccaneer cruiser next. So let's go and see that. So as we can see, we've got again, this really nice new rounded front. That's very nice. We've got the lovely sides and we're going to be able to see the back end on this one much clearer than the one against the fence line. So let's go and take a closer look at that first. So this is completely different. I mean, look at that. So we've got the brake lights, the high brake light up there. Then we've got these new lights. And as I say, I, I think that's quite a German influence really. Um, so that's, that's very nice. And then we've got the offside of the caravan there. So let's go inside and take a closer look at the layout on the cruiser because uh, it's looking good so far. So again, we've got the one piece door. We've got the twin axle. We'll take a step inside. Now this one is displayed with the normal fabric upholstery. I must say, if you're spending the money on a Buccaneer, I'd be tempted to splash a little bit further for that leather. Um, if it was me, obviously everyone's different, but yeah, the leather really finished that off. So on the cruiser, now we've got that great big sunroof again, these big windows. 
the curtains they're looking a bit darker on um, my screen I don't know they're um, they're quite um, an oatmeal-y colour is probably the best way to describe them and then we've got these nice cushions to finish them we've got the centre chest there and all the storage again I'll move around now this is going to be another four berth layout the kitchen we've got nice storage up there and it's quite nice how the sort of cream lockers breaks up the darker ones we've got a huge worktop space again and great under storage i'm just going to open one of these because i didn't in the last one. Oh yeah look at that so under there we have got slide out uh little drawers there we've got various cupboards these are all soft clothes obviously but some nice um some nice space there i won't that needs pulling sideways that's probably where the table is going to be so yeah these are nice and again this massive sink then we've got the thetford gas and electric hob the gas oven and grill the great big tower fridge freezer if you're using um these buccaneers on a seasonal pitch then they are absolutely ideal to be absolutely honest um right here we have then the transverse island bed there is a screen to divide this area the screen is here and that's going to pull across and it's going to affix here so that will give you the privacy so we've got the fabric headboard on this one because it's not leather we've got storage up there and then there's a couple of wardrobes that one's got the alder tank in it that's uh, your header tank and then we've got these little drawers so these are nice that one's obviously a little table there to put your drinks on and then the drawer space and under here we've got some usb lights pioneer speakers i can't see a usb uh plug in off the top of my head there but again we'll look more closely when i do some proper reviews big sunroof and then there's this mirror i will stand in it so you can see it so there's um, a really large mirror here i like that so it creates even more length um in the caravan the bed's retracted so again we've got this excellent floor space for maneuvering around and then we're into the rear washroom we've got a sliding door um, which affixes back for towing the door space it's um it's a good size to be fair and we're straight in there to the thetford loo we've got the alder towel rail heated through the alder system a little bit of cupboard space there and then as we come round, we've got a nice cabinet these have got mirrors on sure these are just on latches they are so nice little cupboard got a nice sink there storage underneath and again look at this um, shower cubicle this is really good size so we've got nice shower there and there is a shelf which I would expect because I'd imagine this this before the Buccaneers were sort of heading up towards 36 37 thousand I can see these pushing nearer 40,000 potentially for 2022. I could be absolutely wrong, but I can see that happening. Um, to be fair, the build quality and the finish on these looks very good. Um, very good indeed. We'll just have a quick look in a, a little cupboard. So yeah, plenty of cupboard space. So there we have it. That is the cruiser, um, which hopefully I can get some full reviews as these land in dealerships. Let's venture on to the next model and see what awaits us there. So come on, let's venture on. So here we go. We're now going to move over here to the Barracuda. Now the Barracuda was always one of the most popular buccaneers, I always thought. Um, again, a four berth. I, I like this layout, but it's one of those where you've got to put some thought into whether it really will work for you, because although you're drawn in when you first see this layout, it's about whether it works for you. So as we can see, we've still got all these rounded sides and what have you. Um, and then at the back again, we've got these lovely lights. So let's go in and check out this full berth layout. So in we go. Right. So as we come in, now this is where you're going to see how it's a little bit different. Now this has got the L-shaped lounge. This one hasn't got leather. Again, um, it, you can see the L-shape there. I'd be, I'd be tempted to put leather in. Uh, we've got the same colour scheme across the range, obviously. And we've got the massive sunroof, again, letting all that light in. Now, the reason this layout always was quite popular was the L-shape. 
But then over on the offside wall, you had this television unit, and we can see it here with this Avtex, which having just purchased an Avtex telly, these are fantastic. I would completely recommend an Avtex television. Um, so we've got the Avtex there. It looks like there's a little bit of storage just above there. And we've got Pioneer there, some whites. Again, I'd have to have a hunt around for some USBs. Ah, there they are, look. So we've got USBs and plug sockets there. We've got absolutely loads of uh, worktop space again here. We've got that a long um, splashback, an absolutely huge sink. It's got the same um, cupboard there, which is going to have those pull outs. There they are. I like those, to be honest. We've got the same Thetford appliances. Again, over on this near side, we've got a really nice mirror there at the door and a little bit more worktop space as well, which is always handy. Then we've got, as I say, the Dometic, the Russell Hobbs. And on this model, we've got the centre washroom again. So the shower is over on the near side. So it's the same cubicle as has been used on those other models. At the back here, we're going to find the bedroom. And the good thing is, as you can see here, this will slide across over to there to create privacy that side. And also, if I just turn around, the bathroom door is going to close here to give you privacy there as well. And there's some hooks for towels and a, a little roof light there. The washroom, this is over on the off side or right hand side of the caravan. We've got the same cabinet that we've seen, the heated towel rail. We've got that nice sink and tap again. Storage, let's have a little look. So yeah, nice storage there. The Thetford loo, a little bit close. You may have to turn, I'd personally be turning that in that direction because it's a little bit close to here. But when you own one, you, you work out how it all works for you. And then into the bedroom, we've got a nice roof light, two windows on the side, We've got the storage at each side, big wardrobe spaces. The Alder header tank will be in one of these wardrobes. It's not in that one, so I presume it's going to be in the other one. We've got a nice light as well. As you open that up, that illuminates nicely. When you close it, it'll turn it off. We've got a couple of little lights and speakers under there. And this is the bed. So again, nice headboard, good sized bed that draws at either side, as you can see and a nice large island bed which again that'll pull out as well for you so there we go that is the barracuda and as i say this was always really popular um with this layout but you've got to think if if you're a couple this is quite this is quite a nice sort of sitting area if there's four of you it, there may be less space than you were expecting um last but not least we'll head over to the bermuda now here's the bermuda this was new for 2021 and i did review one of these as well um so we'll just dive in here and see what's new on the bermuda so come on let's go and have a look at this one so again we've got this nice rounded front really like this actually i think they've done quite a good job of that it uh, it flows really nicely and we've still got what looks like a good sized front locker so we'll venture in now as we go in First of all, you notice that there is the flap there, so that's going to give you more space. Now, on this L shape, this is basically the opposite to the Barracuda. Now, we've still got great big sunroof there, plenty of lights. We've got the L shape again. I like this one. I like sort of the layout on the opposite side for some reason. I don't know whether that's just the way my brain reads it, but it's uh, say just the reverse of the Barracuda there again the Avtex television and some various little bits of shelving there and we've got some storage up above and then we go through and this is where this one's different as you can see on the right hand side of the caravan or the off side instead of having the kitchen we've got here some storage space we've got a nice worktop space that's nice then we get the big Dometic fridge freezer the Russell Hobbs microwave there and then over on the near side or left hand side we get the kitchen so the kitchen we've got this flap we've got the worktop space a couple of plugs 
we've got the massive sink i'm really quite impressed with this big sink and we've got plenty of storage up here this one's got some racks in it as we can see there so these these obviously are the display models uh, for today so um, there might just be the odd bits that are slightly different in cupboards i don't know there's the thetford dual fuel hob oven and grill and then we find the center washroom so we find on the near side we're still going to get this fantastic shower cubicle in the bermuda loads of room in there and um, we've still got that sliding door that we had on the barracuda i'll just come through we've got the door again that goes across we've got the mirrored cabinet we've got the thetford loo we've got those nice little lights down there the heated towel rail that's the good thing about the wet uh, the wet system of the alder and then in this corner as we come in we've got a little cabinet there with a mirror there's some usb chargers in that bank there and a plug socket we've got pre-installation here look if you're wanting to watch television i should imagine as many people will and then we come across and we have got these big storage lockers the wardrobes the wardrobes are a little bit smaller on this model than some of the others but then we've got an excellent size pull out bed again big island bed so there we go right we'll venture back out of this one but as i say the uh, bermuda this model it was new last year i don't know how popular it's been to be honest because i haven't got any figures on that um but it's always uh, i'm sure it did do well so there we go um those are the buccaneer models that are new now for 2022 certainly like that new front and those new lights at the back are a huge improvement the interiors are really nice i think the leather finishes it off well so personally if i was putting an order in for a 2022 i would be looking at choosing that other than that it's going to be fully loaded obviously these are top end luxury models from the eldest range uh, always very popular I don't have any weights, measures, sizes or prices as I say, but once I have those I will get them to you and all being well I'll be able to find some models at dealerships so I can get some reviews to you because I know these are always really popular. So there we go, that's the first vlog. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed that one. I'm going to trot on now and have a look at a couple of more bits. There's a new layout apparently on a couple of the ranges which has an L-shaped lounge and a drop-down bunk. So I'm going to find that layout, all being well, and do a, a vlog on that. And then I might have a look at a couple of the motorhomes and the camper vans that have got the pop tops, which are just over there. So hopefully you've enjoyed that. I'll get more out to you as soon as I can. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.